Got him. So this was here, but thicker. It wasn't allowing the sprocket. This is bigger than this. So we couldn't put the sprocket on without shifting the whole engine over again. We don't have room to shift the engine over. And we're trying to make something work. It's so gonna work. I can hand a silver bullet his butt. <laughs> <laughs> With that. I don't know. We'll yeah, see. man. <laughs> yeah, man. Honda versus Yamaha. We'll see. I don't know if that's technically a Yamaha, though, because it's got the Suzuki muffler, the Honda throttle. You know what it is. It's an AMC. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. All <laughs> right. All right. You want to grab this tire off? So, yeah, off? now we can pull it all back apart and pull that piece off. I might have to come out of your hanger so I can get it down low enough, but that's so stiff. It came right out before. Yeah. You How many bolts are there in it? One or two. It's just needed to be straight. This thing is a little warm down this way. I'm sitting on my brand new spot. Okay. It's got a good one. That's all right. It's not the last piece so of all. This is a little one still. Before we even put that back on, we need to look at these holes. So this sprocket I found out in my shed, and we're going to have to make it work, it looks like. Big time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll be fun. Because really you're going to have to get it dead center, too. Yeah. Like wherever dead center is. Yeah, See, you'd almost be right. better off just going with your own holes on the sprocket. You see what I'm saying? I can lay that out. It's just going to take a little bit. You see what I'm saying, though, right? And just drill new holes okay. through the sprocket okay. itself. I got it. I got All right. It. So you plan that out. All right. We're going to have to do this off camera because I don't have enough. Yeah. And it won't be hard once you All mark. Right. I'll show you guys what I did once I do it. I don't want to kill my battery. All right, where are we at, Chris? Drilling holes. All we gotta do is get those four holes drilled out, and we can mount the axle back on there and uh, send it. If it breaks, it break. We can repair it. It's nice and Wire those holes out a little bit bigger so they'll fit on that hub over there. And we're going to be putting it all back together. Alright, we're tightening the sprocket down. We've got we don't know how round it is. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It looks a little off. It might be. But it, it'll be fine. You won't even be able to tell. Come on, Isaac. It'll be fine. It ain't gonna be enough to make a difference. 
this ain't a mill shop, so exactly. we'll do the best we can. Axle is going to go back under now. Backwards. You're back asswards. <laughs> I'm back axle words. Back, back axle words. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Oh boy. No, it'll go, dude. Don't we do that. We gotta take this off. That's do we off. really? Yep. Oh no way. It has to come off this side. Put it through the bot. Dude, put it through this side first. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Yep. All right. See, that's why we keep you around your house, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Some people don't know, and when you say something bad, they say, all right, let's try it. We gotta. All right, it has to go. It's not all the way seated. There it is. We're getting close, people. How are we looking on lined up on the chain, Chris? Oof. No? It's kind of. Uh... Dude, that's not. That's nothing. That ain't gonna hurt it. That's I good. I think it's there. Yeah, it looks good to me from where I'm sitting. We'll find out if it comes off. Or it blow, blow off. It looks good from where I'm sitting, man. Getting close, people. Getting close. We're right there. I know. All right, Chris is hooking the chain up. He's measuring it up. You might need a link and a hand. Well, you can slide forward too. Yeah, it's, is it back all the way? So you need to cut this one off. And it'll be close to getting one link on there, but it looks like you might need a link and a half. Right. And then well, slide it I'm going to slide it forward. I'm going to just take... Uh, you can do one link and then just slide it forward to where it needs to be. Yeah, yeah. That's a link and a half there. No, wait, that's one link. That's, that's one, one link. link, but yeah. it's all the way forward, isn't it? No, no. No. Nope. So you still have room to tighten okay. it. I'd pull it back and do the one link. And then you can push it forward to tighten it. So now you need to remove. Nope. You have to take off this Let's take link. Take this one right here. It this is the one that we're keeping. You can't do a down link. You have to be on a. You have to take this link off. You can't take an inside link off. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna take this off right here. <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right, and that'll give us room to move forward. Okay, so, I see what you're saying. Yep. Okay. That'll work. So that's where it's touching right now, and then we got enough. It's only a yeah. half inch. So. All right. So Chris is gonna break that chain, and we'll get back to you. We're getting close, people. Stick your hand in this bag. <laughs> right? I mean, it's just the nastiest thing. Chris is down to the master link, people. Master link. Tighten the motor. Send it. Yep. If it break, I tow it home. Nah. That's a long ride. <laughs> <laughs> no, here. All the way back to my house? Sweet. All he's got to do is put that pretty little master link in there and tighten up this motor. And there's the master link, so we're getting close, people. We are a go. All right, guys. Let's see what happens. Chokes on. Fuel's on. <laughs> Still the same bad gas. We got the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Let's sit her on the ground, take it for a ride. I, I might want to put a little. Woo! I might want to put a little fresh gas on top. Woo! Of it, so. Chris. Yeehaw! Look here. I already got it out ready. All right. So Chris, gonna throw some fresh right. gas in, and we're gonna push her out into the road. I gotta clean up my mess first because this clean, is how I roll. We gotta clean up that mess, and we're gonna roll that I thing out in the road. 
Don't tell me, but no and we gonna question. run it. <laughs> Stay tuned. Following you. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I'm not afraid of the rain, but my GoPro is not in a waterproof case, so I have to change my GoPro. Sorry about the loss in quality, but I don't want to ruin my GoPro. Well, that's interesting. It just shut right on down. Huh. Wonder what happened. Fuel's on. Chokes off. Must be that bad fuel. Oh yeah, we're having some fueling issues, <laughs> for sure. Told you I'd break it. Let's 
set the choke halfway on, maybe we'll make it back to the house. issues. It's the next day. We're home. Uh, we did all this over at Nate's house. Um, the only issues that we really had was the fact that the sprocket didn't fit any of the chains that we had. Um, and we had everything as far as like go-kart chain in my book is concerned. We had, you know, 35, which we knew it wasn't 35. It was way too big for that. We had a 420 chain, we had 41 chain, we had 40 chain, and nothing fit whatsoever. So what we ended up doing was Nate had another sprocket, which was a 50 tooth sprocket. Was worried about that because it was a lot bigger than the sprocket that was on here already. But this thing, as you guys have probably seen by now, runs 27 miles an hour. Uh, with a 50 tooth sprocket. It's perfect. It's great for the kids. I can tone it back a little bit but We're not stopping there. We're actually going to pull this motor off this week and We're going to put a bone stock brand new 212 predator on it and we're gonna test it So it'll be like a head-to-head -head comparison we're going to try it just top speed. That's it. I mean, I've got like a mile worth of road that I run down and I just take it all the way up until it has nothing more to give. And that's how I'm going to do it. Um, I'd like to set up a little track and stuff like that. Not there yet. Going to get there eventually. Not sure where I'm going to do the track at. I may just go over and, and use Nate's track with him. Um, uh, but the bottom line is is we have big plans so hopefully everything's going to go good i also have a second predator which i've already removed the governor on i will be putting a governor removal video on that and hopefully at the end we're going to end up with the ungovernor uh predator 212 on here for a while until I can save up the money to go up to a 420 with the big 40 series torque converter and then this thing should really rip so if you guys like my videos subscribe please hit the like button leave comments uh, I'm always open to your advice what you guys want to see and I'll just do my best to make it happen so all right thanks for watching have a great day